Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I hope everyone's healthy and safe as well as your family and friends. Um, today we're going to get back into let's build a mission and we're going to go ahead and start moving things along. Today we're going to create some tasking for the helos as well as create a small combat zone that can be activated by trigger option for any pilot who sits in the helicopter. And this will be applied to anybody. Okay, so um, as in you can use it for any aircraft and we will later look at combining areas so you can have certain tasks that are for your helo, certain tasks for the jets, but that are all in the same zone. So let's say you want to do sort of some group tasking, you know, you got a couple of buddies flying the F-18s, you're, you're interested in flying the helo tonight. Hey guys, what do you think about completing this operation? All right, make it more challenging that way. For example, a scenario would be. Let's say we're doing an extraction, right? Which is what we're going to sort of do today is demonstrate how to set that up. Set up an extraction point, right? You have a bunch of foes in one area, and but you have multiple groups, okay? So you have one group that is just for the helos, okay? So it's going to be very light, um, lightly armored trucks, jeeps, things like that. It's foot soldiers on the ground, all right? Um, and they can go in, do some damage. That way the helos can have some fun using their guns and rockets and whatnot. And then you can have a second group in the same zone that's activated by pilots who are flying the F-18. And maybe these are more armored targets, you know, tanks, B, uh, BTRs, maybe some SAM sites that we need to go in and destroy before the helicopters can go in. You're right, you guys get the idea. <clears throat> so you can create one area that's suitable based on what you're flying, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's pick a little area not too far away but not too close so I'm gonna grab my ruler over here and all you do is highlight this and left click oops left click and drag sorry so I'm still holding the left click down to use this and yeah hey Zodi works perfectly and that's good because I already created a group for it anyway um, so <laughs> let's it's almost like I planned this so let's go ahead and and the reason why I'm picking something relatively close is because in, in these kind of maps, right, where you have a bunch of different options, you don't want the pilots to have to fly too far in a helo, all right, depending on what your objectives are, right? Um, 80 miles, for example, in a helo, or like the Huey, when it only tops out at about, you know, between 80 and 100 miles an hour, depending on, you know, what the loadout is, that's quite a drab flight right so let's go ahead and take a look at things now when you're looking at areas like this don't look at just the two-dimensional layout watch your altitude down here in the bottom as your mouse uh, moves around because you can see we're at 2400 but watch it so now in that little spot we've jumped over you know almost 250 feet that's a good indication that there's an incline here there's some sort of hill right here right so watch your watch your altitudes when you think about playing uh, setting things so these are buildings, that's going to make sense, 32, so this is actually a really sort of a weird pocketed area, isn't it? Let's use here, okay, got a little, you know, terrace cell here maybe that um, um, we need to go and blow some guys up, do an extraction, we can set like a, a landing point here, right? So let's let's mess around with that a little bit and see what we come out with. So let's first set up a group. To defend it so see told you I already started one so let's go ahead and pull that out we're gonna make these guys Russian and we're gonna call this what is that vodka I don't know if the K is silent or not anyway so I'm gonna, um, <clears throat> we'll call it vodka one and just sort of keep an eye on your mind on what's what right so we'll put the first guy, we're going to want something near the landing zone, right? We come in, we're flying over the hill, we come over the trees, we start letting loose with our guns, we clean out the area, bring our troops in, right? So let's start here. Remember, your first unit you always want to pay attention to, and we're not going to have them moving around. Um, they can disperse and run away as they're attacked, that's fine, but we don't want them running around. And we're going to face the first guy sort of accordingly to, you know, he's going to be looking right at us when we come over the mountain. Well, I mean, I suppose that depends on what your approach vector is, but... And then now, let's do... Let's set them for AKS. Okay, and you can come in here and sort of see what they look like, right? Uh, maybe we'll leave it as the infantry soldier. Um, RPGs, 
use those wisely. Um, some of these guys, you know, it's just like uh, any of the AI, man. Some of them are snipers, so they'll they'll take a helicopter out with an RPG. Um, I tend to leave those out because they really are. Their their aim is phenomenal. Um, so let's go ahead and drop a ton of soldiers around. So let's do let's do like twenty five of them. Okay, and then now let's sort of bring them together. And what I'll do initially is sort of just span out here, right, and sort of just drop them in general regions. Okay, you don't have to be perfect at this point. Um, and sort of think about, you know, the paths that you want your soldiers to take. You know, if you're going to... So in this case, what we're going to be doing is setting up a scenario where we're taking a, a special ops team into this area to capture an HVT, a high-value target, right? And it's all going to be simulated. They're not actually going to grab a bad guy, but I'll show you guys how to set it all up. It'll be pretty fun. Um, so we're just sort of throwing things around right now. And the objective isn't necessary that our soldiers are going to kill every one of these guys. But I can show you what happens, how we set this when... Um, let's look at these buildings. And so another cool thing you can do, let's take a peek at what the scene looks like, right? Because this, this makes it sort of hard to decide, well, where do I want my quote-unquote HVT to be? And so what we can do is after you put some guys down, don't hide them on the map or anything. Let's go ahead and load into the mission. And here they are right here. I hate this view, so I always click on the satellite. I'm just going to highlight one and press F7. There we go. All right. So here we go. Here's our... Oh, so the, yeah, this is a nice area. This is good for this. Oh, that's not. So it's a good thing that we ran in here. Because right now we were thinking of dropping our helos off down in here. Right? And that's going to be a drag. I mean, we placed these guys perfectly. They're right on the hill, but... You know, landing a helo on that f steep angle there, that's going to be a drag. So I'm thinking back over there by those trees um, in the back there is where we'll make our LZ. Because we don't want to land right there in the middle. That's just asking to get shot up, you know. Um, all right, but let's look at these buildings. Which one do we want to use? So this is actually a pretty nice setup. It really is. Um, we could use that brown building up there in the back next to the hillside there. That might be a good one. Have them sort of push through all of this. Run to that back one there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so let's go to quit. This is why you always check things out. All right, so this building is going to be our target. So let's move some things around. Okay, this is why we check on things like this. And what I'm going to do actually is, well, we can just leave them. Let's just drag it. Are we still on number one? Yep. So we're going to move these guys over here, and now we're going to have to start moving things around. So we'll move this guy here and here. And again, you can fine-tune them later when you're up in this view. Don't worry about making it perfect. Just sort of get things where they need to be. And sort of plan on, you know, jeeps and things like that. Where are you going to have those, you know, as you're setting them down? Okay, you know, the do be two rocket science. The nice thing about doing these little missions like this, you don't have to go into crazy detail. The idea is just to give you or your team something to do when you get a weed up your butt and, you know, feel like feel like doing something a little different, right? And we'll obviously have a couple of guys right here. Now, one of the things that I'll typically do, especially when you're dealing with this large of a force, um, is I'll probably make our ex extraction team, our special ops team, make them immortal so they can't die, right? And reason being is because you want the scenario to complete, right? We're not the ones down on the ground. We're not the ones killing the bad guys. The idea is, you know, we're going to drop the guys off. Then we're going to start, you know, hovering around in our helo, laying some fire down, you know, using the mini guns and the Gatling guns. Because you as the pilot, I don't know if you guys know this, in the Huey, you can switch to the gunner seat and the autopilot will engage and do an orbit. And you can sit there and spray things down with your mini gun or make passes with the co-pilot seat. It's pretty fun. I love the Huey. The Huey's probably my favorite aircraft which is really sad because I haven't given her much love in a long time, and I just moved the entire group again. Um, let me stop yappering for a second, and let's do a group two. So we're going to hit our truck button here again, and we're going to call this two. And this is where we're going to do our unarmed um, you know, Jeeps and trucks. And the reason why I'm breaking them up into two separate groups is just in case for any reason you have an issue with them, right? Um, <clears throat> which I have seen before. So I just... 
keep all your soldiers in one group. Maybe you end up having too many soldiers, right? If you have all of your groups and trucks, if like if we were just start adding group uh, trucks onto this same group, which we can do, we can add another unit and then switch it from infantry to unarmed and put our jeeps on. And you decide, man, I've got way too many soldiers in there, right? I need to reduce the number. What you have to do is delete all those trucks that are ahead of that unit first. So that's why I like to break them up. So we'll set this guy down, now change him to unarmed. And sure, let's do a few APCs, they're easy. And the reason why we're sticking with these unarmed is, again, to remind you guys, so that the helos can destroy them. Um, any of the armored units, the helos, I mean, they just, they really don't stand a chance. It's, it's very, very difficult for the helos to take them out. And that's kind of the fun part of this, is creating an environment where, um, you know, the helos can come in, have some fun with their machine guns and blow crap up and, you know, pull some Delta Force style stuff. And let's uh, pull, I don't know what that is. I don't know why I do that. And we'll put this truck here. All right. And then you can create like a pat if you want, a patrol, you know. Um, put a truck here. Put a truck here. And again, this is just to give, this is more for your benefit as the pilot. You know, than anything, it's just to give you something to do, watch some things blow up and burn. Um, let's put a couple trucks out here in front of the house, right? There's obviously going to be some Jeeps there. Uh, where's my stack? Oh, there they are. You don't have to go too crazy. It's totally up to you. I may add to this later. I'm not going to go too nuts right now. Just sort of add a few things to, again, give it some, give it some fun. Okay, and then if you wanted a third group that was sort of patrolling around, you totally can. So we can do, let's do one more. And we're going to lay him down. And let's just have him sort of, and set the speed first that you want. So we're just going to him at 20 knots. He's going to be, well, God, he's going to be cooking. That's all right, fine, who cares. And we'll change this to three. And then just sort of have him poke around. All right, don't let him run over anybody. All right, maybe he's gonna come through here. Gosh, I do sound like Bob Ross when I make missions. Just, just, just have your happy little Jeep. He's just gonna be sort of cruising around, you know. You know, maybe come by and see his friends here. <laughs> and then always have them go back towards their starting waypoint, and I'll show you why in a minute. So we're going to have him come here because it's very likely that when you get up here, that's a bad one. So watch for things like that. That's not a good adjustment or a good placement. So let's put him up here. And then what I'm going to have him do is sort of come back over here and back to here. Now, the reason why I made sure to get him back near the um, starting waypoint is because we can have him continue this path right because the odds are with a Huey again even with as close as we are 30 miles you know that's still that's still a good flight for the Huey by the time you get the birds started up you head over to the zone that you, you know you need to to pick up your soldiers in our case we're going to have us go to Cobaletti from the fart pick up some soldiers and take off and head to the combat zone all right <clears throat> so chances are that this patrol will be done so what we're going to do is on this last waypoint here okay this uh, DP is what it is. And what we're gonna do is set, perform command I think it is. Yep, go to waypoint. And all we're gonna do is tell him to go to waypoint one. Don't pick the starting point because I've seen it before. I don't know if this is, maybe this isn't this case, but first off, already at the starting point. But tell him to waypoint one and then he'll just continue repeating. It'll be rinse and repeat. He'll just keep on going over and over. Every time he hits this waypoint, he'll tell him to go to waypoint one, in which case it'll continue the sequence. Okay, really cool. Um, so let's sort of take a peek at what we got here before we tell everything to go to late activation. And which are these guys? Okay, so here's our guys. And let's just sort of keep... I hate this view, I'm telling you. Keep poking around here. Uh, it's not too bad. And you also want to be thinking about, you know, when you're in the healer, you're going to be able to see these, right? Okay. 
Got our trucks and our um, HVT area right there. Now what I don't see moving is our Jeep. Am I missing that? Where is he? All right, guys, so I was able to figure out what was going on, and it took a second. Um, so what it was, it had to do with something in this area right here. Um, every time the vehicle would get to it, it would stop. If I started the vehicle, like, let's see here. If I started him, like, in this region, it wouldn't go. Okay, so that first one that we were trying with that wouldn't move, there was something about being up here that it didn't like, which is really weird because I tried everything from slowly adding waypoints right so i deleted all the waypoints added about two or three then tried it it worked try three few more tried it it worked and basically repeated the same path that we had before right at first i thought maybe it was this this incline this is this incline in here is really steep no nope. you know when i add that back in he rolled right over it and what was weird is this waypoint 14 was like up here okay and then the ending waypoint was here and then waypoint one was down here like we saw before but when it would get to this waypoint right here, it would just stop. It couldn't do anything. And then so when I put the truck there and tried to start, have that be the starting waypoint, wouldn't do anything, wouldn't go. Okay, so what I ended up doing, as you can see, was bringing them all down to, towards more flat terrain. Okay, had the ending waypoint here, but what I ended up doing was at waypoint 14 is where I gave it the command. So if we open this up again, it's perform task, or excuse me, no, it's not. It's perform command, go to waypoint, and then... Um, selected waypoint one. Okay, and so now he will return. He he completes the the circuit. And so what ha what happens is he'll just keep going round and round and round and round. That's how you make a patrol. Um, that way, when he gets to the last waypoint, he doesn't just stop. Okay, so the waypoint beforehand is where I gave it the command to return to waypoint one and continue the circuit. Okay, all right. So sorry that took a second. Now let's go ahead and give him a different name change. We're gonna give him four and then i'm also going to call it pat that way we know what it is and let's give him a buddy we'll make it two of them and real quick let's just make sure because this has been an interesting um issue here so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to grab this guy pull him in closer okay and then i'm going to set the formation to custom um actually off-road should be fine let's just leave it at that let's go save now let's go watch it real quick All right, so they're both rolling. Let's go ahead and hit left control Z and speed time up. You can see right there in front of them where those three darts, darts dots are up on the hill. That's what I thought was the initial issue, but it wasn't. Speed things back up. And so now they come around here. This should be waypoint 13. There's 14. And from here, they should return to waypoint 1. Although, now we ran in... Oh, he's still going. Okay, cool. As long as he still moves. Like I said, see what I mean? There's something up with this hill. Like, he doesn't like it at all. Let's make sure the other guys are on. Cool. And then now they'll just keep going round and round. All right, cool. So we can go ahead and exit here. Go back into our mission. And now let's set these guys all to late activation. So we're going to hit each group. There's two. Late activation. Late activation. And our soldiers. Late activation. So now if we were to load the map, this whole area would be completely empty because we haven't given it a trigger, is what they're called, to um, activate. So, which brings us to our next phase. Hey guys, sorry for the uh, quick uh, cutoff there, but I decided that this movie's already at 20 minutes long, and I figured this is a good time to take a break for the next one. So by all means, guys, stay tuned for the next video. It'll be out right after this one. I just didn't want you guys to have to sit through 30 minutes to uh, get to what you were looking for. But in the next one, we'll take a look at how to set up radio items um, and triggers. 
We'll talk to you soon.